I had sand, uh, sardines. I don't know why I haven't used this camcorder, man. This is like good stuff. Like I'm kind of jealous of whoever has this camcorder. Oh wait, we have it. <laughs> Day in the life. I can make something for you. You want buttered noodles? <clears throat> I can make that. Maybe that'll be my vlog is cooking. I thought you had to tell them what's on your heart. Oh, what's on my heart, guys. I've been watching a lot of The Office lately. That's what's really been on my heart. And uh, I'm excited to finally be able to go out and do things after today. It's kind of hard to work and like drink and eat food, you know? Because I gotta use both hands. So drinking is sometimes the difficult. So I'll take a drink and then I'm like, oh, my phone. So then we'll do this thing. This is like bad. It's a bad habit. <laughs> I'll go make you your noodles and good luck on your yeah. drinking adventure. What's up guys? I'm gonna be What's up guys? I'm gonna be cooking buttered noodles. Kinda of hard kind of a hard task. Oh my gosh, there's ice on the ground. There. I just stepped in that. That's from Ice Cube. Not the artist ice cube. We're gonna be cooking some noodles. I'll show you guys what my plan is here. So come closer. You got your um, stove and you want to make sure that you turn this on and then uh, you got to fill up a pot and I'll show you that part too. Down here you got to find a pot. Now you got to fill this pot up with water. Now this is going to be intense for you guys I bet. Now you Fill that up. Our water is not very good, so we had to use a filter for the water that's going to be for the noodles. So we're, we're going to wait for that to fill up. It was leaking into there, the bad water was, so that's pretty good for water. You want it to be about halfway. Now we'll, we'll take the pot over to the stove. All right, you take the pot, you put it on the hot part, like that. Um, there's stuff on there, that's why it's making that noise. Um, now you gotta wait for it to boil. So while that's boiling, add some salt in there, to see if it makes it boil faster. It's a mess, it's not a real confirmed thing. If you guys like that, you should do that. We got gluten-free elbow noodles. Well, while we're waiting for the boiling to happen, how's your guys' day? What do you guys think about hats? I think it makes your hair recede if you wear them too often. And I don't want that to happen, but I've been wearing them really often, so... Yep. What have I been doing during COVID, you might ask? I got... This is season 8. Um, I think this is episode 13. I love The Office. It's a good show. No. Is there like cooler ways to wear hats? Other than these two ways? Maybe I gotta do something different. Let me know if there's different hat styles. I got more hats. Let me go grab them. I was thinking this could make me a little bit more funky. If I did it like this and then... Oh, that's backwards. I think there's a specific style. You have to look at hats like, um, like hairstyles sometimes, you know? Except you can do, you have to look at hats like hairstyles. So here's a front look, side look, back look, side look, front look, side look. And then you can kind of do it like, if you want to really change it up, you can kind of do it like that. This is a broken water bottle made by a Bristol Myers squib. Throw that in the trash because it's not good. It doesn't work. I drink it and it spills out of this plastic part. I'm trying to think like what can I do. I'm trying to show you guys the best way you can do um, cooking tutorials and keep your viewers entertained. I'll do something that I like to do a lot. It kind of expands the vocabulary. Um, it goes like, Florpy Dorpy Gorpy Yorpa, Lapa Dapa Shapa Galapa Papa, Shapa Dupa Gap Boop Bidi Boop Frippity Floppity, Floppity Doppity Shopity Coppity Roppity, Poppity Bop Bop Dop Shopity Boop Boop.
Foop -a -floop -foop. I'm just telling them how to expand their vocabulary. Where was I at? Fleepy deepy, reepy keepy eepy, wappa dappa wappa, shoppa lappa goppa wappa, orpa rappa yappy yappy, slappy doppy yappy. Let's see how our. We're not even there yet. You know, I really liked Napoleon Dynamite, so I'm gonna share some quotes. Tina, get your hair! Oh, idiot! I guess I can show you guys a little bit more things. I'm kind of innovative. So you see these little light pucks, five pack LED push lights. Yeah, let me show you what I did really quick. So right up here, you stick these light pucks in here and there's only one source of light. So if you really wanna light it up in this, this closet here, because it's harder when it's dark. Here, let me show you. Shut the door. Keep out the devil. Is it getting it? Yeah, it's getting me. I'm kind of innovative, right? So, when I'm in the closet or whatever and I gotta look for my clothing or whatever, I just... Boom. And Sarah sleeps right there. And so it's like... You know, if I wake up really early in the morning or whatever, I can shut the shut the closet door a little ways, like that, like a little bit like that, and then um, yeah, that's a nice hat. Mr. Bean freaked me out. You see, Mr. Bean, bro, what? <laughs> Funny story, Mr. Bean. Uh, is a tradition that me and Sarah do quite a bit. Um, whenever the other person finds them, they have to hide them in the house. So now it's my turn to hide them. And that's gonna be part of our boiling lesson. So let me grab that. Bean. Mr. Bean. Uh, Mr. Bean will give you a hug. I found them. That was a scary spot. I, I caught him in the camera footage. I was like, oh wait, what is that? Y'all see that chandelier? Look what it did to me. You gotta set up a strainer, guys. I know you guys are confused on what a strainer is, but here's the deal. Put that strainer right in there, baby. Then when you get your noodles, you're gonna be set. But you gotta set those noodles in there for about another 10 minutes, so let me do that. And who knows, maybe. Maybe I want noodles too. So I'll just pour the whole thing in there. That's nice. This is a good cooking show. I'm proud of my cooking show. I could be on TV for all they know. And who's they? We don't know. But all they know is that I'm a noodle cooker. Jealous of me? Don't be. Jealousy is not the way to go. God doesn't want you to have jealousy. So while you're doing this, you gotta make sure that you stir it once every, every once in a while. If you guys don't stir your noodles, they get stuck to the bottom. So we gotta do that. And also, it's a bubble up. You leave that there. To make this more interesting, I'll show you something. Trying to get jacked. 20 pound weight. While I'm sitting here. Stirring around. You can multitask, guys. It's not hard. Not hard at all. It might get hard after a little bit though, because um oh my goodness, yeah. It's it's getting hard already. We're going to switch arms here. Alright, but you gotta start with this arm, see? You get your workout in while you're cooking noodles. You get those carbs or whatever. Let me know in the comments guys if you want more cooking videos, because I'm not much of a cook, but I can do some things. Call me up for a frozen pizza. Call me up for mac and cheese. I make salmon sometimes, actually, which is pretty dope. I make chicken. Let me know. <sighs> yep. And how can you tell when the noodles are ready to be put in the strainer? Well, I'll tell you. You can wait a little bit, maybe like uh, eight minutes or so. You should say it on the box, actually. Seven minutes. I like to do mine eight minutes because I don't follow no rules, man. 
other than the rules of God, you gotta remember. How do we test it? Well, it's the classic noodle throw game. Don't you know? So let me, um... Let me, um... Put some of that. Yeah, I put some on the ground. Okay. You do this, and you throw it at the ceiling like this. It's supposed to stick, but I think that's with normal noodles. I want to dump the spoon into the sink here. Okay? Now, you want to make sure that you take this over to the strainer. You want to pour it in like this. Just like that. Just make sure that there's a little bit of water in here. Okay, I can't grab all of them. So now I pour the strained noodles into there. And now we're gonna grab the butter. Now you might be wondering, how much butter do you have to put in for bottled, but, bottled buttered noodles? Well, I'll tell you. You just guess. Make sure you have a butter knife. I don't keep butter knives in my back pocket, but I might, because you never wanna go anywhere without a butter knife. Think about it. Now, you take a slice of that butter, a decent slice, I would say, this much butter, and you throw that in, just like that. You turn up the heat a little bit so the butter melts faster. The noodles have now been buttered. Now, what can you do to make it more flavorful? Well, you can add anything that you want. Sarah? She wants garlic powder, see? And salt and pepper. This is why you always ask. This is being a good host for your buttered noodle parties. Gonna get some gabagool. That's from The Office, season six. Check it. That's about it. I made my noodles. And that was my cooking show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.